In this lecture, Dmitry Plekhanov will teach you about the theory of inventive problem solving. Tris. Привет. Today we'll talk about trees. Trees comes from the Russian phrase "теория решения изобретательских задач," which means the theory of inventive problem solving. The origins of the theory can be traced back to 1946, when Russian engineer Genrich Altschuler analyzed more than 400,000 patents to to identify um, the principles of the most successful inventions. Over the last 30 years, the theory of inventive problem solving has spread across the world. Some multinational companies and research agencies like NASA, Mitsubishi, Ford Motors and Samsung have implemented trees approaches to design products much faster and more efficiently. According to trees, technological progress um, and innovations are not random processes, but instead they are governed by certain rules and therefore they can be predicted. In order to become truly innovative and creative, you need to follow structured and systematic approaches. Tree's approach to problem solving can be divided into four stages. The first stage, you need to identify your specific problem, and this is not as easy as it might sound. At the second stage, your specific problem is reduced to its essentials and presented in unique format using Tree's database of general problems. At the third stage, your general problem will be matched with a general solution from Tree's database. And currently there are more than 2,500 general solutions that can be found there. At the fourth stage, based on the foundation of a conceptual solution, you need to design your specific solution that will target your original factual problem with the most efficacy and efficiency. In addition to problem solving, Tree tells us a lot um, about uh, contradictions that might happen during product development. So the first type of contradiction is a technical contradiction. If something gets better, something else gets worse. And this is annoying and happens to us humans way too much often. Just to give you an example, the engine created to increase the speed of a car can result in more weight that will limit how fast the car can be. And it is a technical contradiction. The physical contradiction happens if there are contradictory requirements to physical properties and performance of a product. So a big umbrella will protect you better from the rain, but if the umbrella is too big, it will not be easy to carry it around. In this situation, umbrella size requirements is a physical contradiction. The theory of inventive problem solving provides us with a structure for thinking and brainstorming and contributes to better innovation processes. Based on a dynamic perspective of technological systems, TREES helps us to identify effective solutions for current and emerging challenges. Don't accept compromises, but instead try to eliminate them completely. There is no compromise between price and quality. The most effective solutions are the ones that don't accept any trade-offs. So I hope this information about the theory of inventive problem solving was useful for you. See you next time. До свидания.